hey guys welcome back to my channel mi tutorial uh, in this particular video i'm going to teach you a very very basic function which is available within excel i guess and not a lot of them are not really aware of this particular function um, so this is basically let's say you have a huge amount of data that you're looking at and when you scroll down you don't get to see the headers they sort of disappear and let's say if you're referring to this column you don't really know what this column's uh, header is so there is a function which is available within excel for that what you need to do is you need to click on cell a2 for example have your selection over here and then go to your view tab click on freeze paints and click on freeze paints once again so what this will do is this will freeze your paints based on where your selection is for now my selection here was on a2 so when i scroll down all of my headers are all freezed out you can see the headers now when you scroll down right likewise you if let's say you want to also freeze the row the first row over here so in that case what i will do is i will come to the cell b2 and i will have my selection over here i'm going to click on freeze paints and then let me unfreeze it once and then click on freeze paints right when you do this what happens is both your uh, the first row as well as your first columns are freezed right when I scroll down right your headers are freezed right if you want to see how your columns are freezed let's say you have a huge amount of data let me you know uh, just copy paste this over here okay let's say you just scrolling towards your right and as you can see here on the left as you can see here on the left your first row is freezed out and you can change this based on your requirement let's say you want to see data till here and you can keep your cursor over here click on unfreeze click on freeze panes again and then start scrolling towards your right the this part over here remains freezed as well as your top column so this is the basic function which is available in excel i hope you make use of it and i hope you've learned something new please do hit the like and subscribe button for more such tutorials thank you so much for watching